welcome again friends and we are talking about biology problems and again another problem for you and this problem is going to be population genetics problems and we are going to do more videos about population genetics problem in different section but uh, this is from the generalized view a hardy Weinberg problem for you and here it goes in a population that is in equilibrium the proportion of individuals showing the dominant trait at a given gene locus having two alleles is 84 percent the frequency of recessive allele in that proportion is that is a question right so it is the easiest kind of hardy weinberg problem that you are going to get believe me now for the startup that is good because you know uh, according to hardy weinberg's equilibrium the frequencies and the addition of all the frequencies of a, gen, uh, of a dominant allele and a recessive allele that is present in a population is going to be one that is the actual formula so the formula here is you know dominant uh, allele frequency plus recessive allele frequency if we add those two things it is going to give us value of one right so here it is now in this case what we know is that the individuals that are showing that trait at a given locus having two alleles and the frequency here is 84 percent for the dominant allele right so for the dominant allele right the proportion is 84 percent right so that what does that mean the frequency so if we have the proportion of 84 percent that means if we're having a population of 100 individuals among them 84 will have this dominant allele right so what will be the other one so the proportion if we calculate if the whole proportion is one we know the value will be 0 0.84 right so this is going to be the proportion or this is going to be the frequency of that allele so if the total number is one 0.84 is going to be the frequency for the dominant so what is going to be the frequency of recessive right so in this case what we know usually that the value of the frequency that we get you know they are telling us the dominant trait at a given locus having two alleles so what does that mean so it is dominant the trait we are talking about here is a dominant and it is dominant in both that in the, both the alleles and that same locus so it is dominant the both alleles are dominant at a particular locus so if we have a character which is having both alleles dominant in a locus we call it a homozygous dominant right so that means both the alleles are dominant in nature so if we consider it as a capital a so here we get aa and the frequency of aa is 8.84 similarly frequency of recessive that is both recessive alleles at the locus is going to be 1 minus the value 0.84 because we know according to hardy weinberg equilibrium that the whole frequency will be 1 so 1 minus 84 will give us 0. you know 16 right that is going to be the value once we get the value and that is you know of two alleles if both the alleles are recessive we get the value or the frequency of 0. 0.16 so now that means we can simply write as a square because you know according to again hardy weinberg equilibrium we can simply put a plus b equals to 1 that means a plus b is whole square equals to 1 so you can simply know about this concept so a square that is both the alleles are a will have 0 0.16 so the frequency of having both the alleles recessive is 0 0.16 isn't it similarly so if we calculate for the a it will be root of 0 0.16 that is 0 0.4 right so that is going to be the frequency of one you know single allele that is going to be the frequency of recessive allele because the question is what is the frequency of the recessive allele it doesn't ask you that the frequency of uh, recessive allele in both the in, in, in uh, both the alleles will be recessive in the locus it asks you only for one recessive allele that's why we need to root over this because we have in both a the frequency will be 0 0.16 if we have only one a which is a recessive value we get root over of 0 0.16 we get a 0 0.4 that is the frequency of the recessive value in that population